With us at Coralus, a new building, and you're watching us paint. There is Marcelo hiding up on the lift. Uh, he is helping clean the walls right away because we have to paint in. I'm noticing a little fuzziness on the walls if you don't wipe them down first. So they're pretty flat. You're not going to notice really um, much imperfections at this point. So they did prep the drywall for us, which is nice of the contractors to do that. But but yeah, we have to prime them. Since they weren't primed ahead of time, these walls are sucking up a lot of the paint right away. So we will be busy prepping and drywalling and taping everything off like the electrical boxes, emergency lights, and all that good stuff. So those of you who are watching the progress of our store, stay tuned for later on and I'll keep um, posting some updates. But I will continue painting. I have to wear this whole thing because I end up getting paint everywhere, but pretty dusty in here. So you guys, you gotta stay, you gotta stay protected. Of course, Marcelo shows up to paint in shorts and sneakers. I did tell him to be prepared. I don't know what happened. Communication. No. <laughs> but I appreciate all the help I can get. So feel free to stop by if you guys are in the area. What's going on, Gabriel? It's Saturday. What are you doing today? So there's my first coat real quick with this wall. I just painted it with a sprayer, just testing it out. Um, you're staring at the tanks. That's nice will be a flat black all the air conditioning will be painted black the walls will be primed and painted that sea foam fantastic blue color uh, I think it's called treasure blue or something weird so so there's that there's our paint spare and stay tuned for more updates this afternoon when we go next door to the brewery actually I should show up like this in my painters gear Oh man, fixing cars is, um, it's fun, but not when you have to do it. Not when it's body work. I love engine work, but I don't like body work. So. I used to build cars back in the day. Um, Chevys and Fords mostly. <laughs> yep, I got the goggles on, I got everything. Full, full body suit. So I was thinking for the bathrooms, we definitely got to put in a his and hers. So we'll have a mermaid here and then we'll have a merman on this side. So on the doors, I'm going to do some kind of theme. Anyone has any ideas for the bathroom themes, feel free to let me know and we'll work on that. But I don't know. I wanted to rip out these sinks and put an acrylic fish tank right there. So instead of people washing their hands, they get to stare at some kind of fish. But you know. <laughs> yeah, the, the store is going to be blue and then we're going to have murals painted above that and then we're going to project into the murals. So I was going to have the store black and then I just changed it. Um, <laughs> you can see all the white marks I did in the wall. That's hilarious. I know Gabriel, I put more money into buying tools for my car and it's just cheaper to buy a car and with a warranty. I'm one of those do-it-yourselfers and I used to do all my own oil changes and whatnot. And at the end of the day, it's just pay someone to do it. I hate to say it, but you, you don't always have a choice. An underwater theme cave, is that what you're thinking of? Rob that's a good idea I definitely think some kind of reefscape in the bathroom would be nice Aaron's aquarium yo what's up brother I can't believe you're watching your your uh, live stream Friday was badass I really didn't like that it was cool to hang out with you guys I did feel like I was part of the community <laughs> so we're gonna continue prepping and painting this building isn't as big as I wish I could have got. It's 1,500 square feet. 
So we're doing the best we can with the space we have. <laughs> That's right. I, I definitely am a good sniper, so I'm ready to go. When duty calls. And look at me talking. Uh, Marcelo shows up, I put him to work. This is why you don't want to be my friend. I, I have friends, I put you to work. So <laughs> you're better off <laughs> staying at home and just watching the updates. Um, the new air conditioning system, no. I was researching that. Um, we got up on the lift. And I think the way the system's designed, I should be able to put the humidifier, the dehumidifier in that box right there. Since this is the return system, I can mount it right there. So I think we'll be okay. I just still have to get permission and permit wise from the township and from the owners of the building. So we just lease it, which means there's all kind of legal bull crap that we have to abide by. So I do have to build my fragging station here. I haven't really been able to find a carpenter who will do it for the price that I'm willing to pay or for the money I have to pay. So I may end up just doing this myself. Uh, but this is going to be a fragging system. We're on a budget and any money that's left over from the budget will go to stocking all the shelves. So a lot of people don't realize um, when you walk into a store and you ask for a product and you wonder why they don't have that product that you're looking for, it's because it costs money to put these products on the shelves for you guys. So we want to offer the best store and give you everything, but we have a limited budget. So please, um, you know, let me know if there's something in the store that you think is uh, we need to sell because we will carry it for you, if, you know, best we can. So now I wanted to build a loft up here since the ceiling is so high. I was going to build an office in the back, and if, the, if we do well our first year, I will add on an office up top so I can watch and see everything, and then I'll put like a tree swing or something because that's not dangerous. <laughs> So I'm going to get back to painting, guys. I really do appreciate you watching. Um, I know this is just a quick update as always, but stay tuned for more to come. If we get this done by next week, the painter is going to come in and start the murals on the wall. So that's why I'm hustling. Those murals are what I'm really, really excited about because he's going to paint an underwater theme and then the projector is going to project into that mural. So you're going to get like this really cool immersion factor and he's building sharks. So we're gonna have a six foot shark hanging from the ceiling over in that corner above the bar. So I appreciate it, you guys who are watching. Make sure you share with your friends. Let people know PA has a new fish store coming. And as always, happy reefing until next time. Gabriel, I'll talk to you later, brother. Rob, Aaron's Aquarium, uh, anyone else I missed who's watching at this moment, thank you. <laughs> what does it say? Oh, uh, what kind of flooring? Uh, we're actually doing sand. So the floor is going to be an epoxy that's going to look like sand. And then the walls are going to be the blue. So it's going to look like it's underwater. And, you know, based on how we do it, I actually wanted to paint the ceiling. Um, so it looked like you're looking up at the ocean. But just to have the painter come and have him do the ceiling was too much. So anyway, all right, guys, signing out. <laughs> Later.